The final step in an image classification, and before an accuracy assessment is conducted, is to reclassify the spectral classes, that is, the individual classes that represent the same land cover type to information classes, which is a single class for each unique land cover type. Recoding the spectral classes to information classes can be accomplished using the r.reclass tool. So let's perform the classification and reclass it so that agriculture is reclassed to, uh, from spectral class numbers 1 to 5 to 2, and then classes 6 through 9 will then represent uh, class 1, which is water. Spectral classes 10 through 14 will now represent class 3, which is grass. Spectral classes 15 and 16 will represent class 4, which is forest. And spectral classes 19 through 23 will represent class 5, which is urban. And so to do that, I'm going to click on raster, change category values and labels, reclassify, r.reclass. I'm going to set the following parameters. On the required tab, for the raster map to be reclassified, I'm going to make sure it's TMSAC sub soup class. Name for the output raster map, we are going to name that TMSAC sub soup reclass. And then for the inner values interactively, I'm going to enter 1 through 5 equals 2 agriculture, then 6 through 9 equals 1 water, 10 through 14 equals 3 grass, 15 through 16 equals 4 forest, and 19 through 23 equals 5 urban. Make sure add created maps in the layer tree is selected and then click run. Since there are no errors, I'll click close and I can view the reclassified raster map in the display window, which I'm seeing now. You may, re you may need to rearrange your toggle visibility uh, to, uh, to make sure that you can see the reclassified raster map. So let's query a few cells to view the values. So I'm going to make sure that it's selected in the map layers. Click the query tool. I'm going to select this field here and you can see that it's in class 2 with the name of agriculture. You can see all of this red is class 5 urban and the yellow is class 1 water. So this makes it easier to understand what is being classified since there are only five colors on the map and we've identified what they are in plain English. Now the colors don't make much sense since they're randomly assigned. Since each value represents one of the unique land cover types now, uh, the color should be changed to something more intuitive. So we will make those changes now by creating a new color table. So to do that, click Raster, Manage Colors, Color Tables, R.Colors. So once again, you're going to read the color manual. Uh, then go back to the required tab and make sure the input uh, raster is the reclass so, so TM sac sub soup reclass then click on the color tab and on the enter values interactively choose uh, enter one space blue two space 252 colon 252 colon 158 which represents a red green and blue value delineated by colons then 3 space 138 colon 239 colon 21 4 space 71 colon 123 colon 11 and 5 space gray. You can optionally save the color rules by clicking the save as button um, so that they can later be loaded by clicking the load button so you don't have to retype all this if you choose to uh, set the color table uh, to be the same for, for the same or different raster. I'm going to click run. Make sure that there are no errors. Good. So I'm going to close. And now we can see the recolored raster, uh, which makes it a little more easy to understand what each thing represents and it's not as heinous of color choice.